So the game I'm playing today is called Entanglement. This is a really cool puzzle game that I actually discovered a few years ago, but didn't bother making a video of for some reason. And it's kind of hard to describe what this game is without actually showing you how to play the game, so I'm gonna try my best to explain to you guys how this game works while showing you how to play it. So basically, Entanglement is a puzzle game where you have these tiles, and you have all these lines moving through the tiles as well, and at the very center you have this red line right here, and you can connect the red line to one of the lines within the tiles. So for instance, this red line right here is connected to this line that I'm pointing at within the tile, and once I press the spacebar, the red line will move through that line within the tile. So basically the objective is to make this lion move through every tile on the board right here, and you need to avoid running into a wall, because if you run into a wall then it's game over. And you also get points for doing this as well, and okay, I didn't mean to left click there, but I already, I already failed it. And I believe the lines within the tiles are randomly generated, so it's not the same every single time. Now, this game is not new. I believe this game came out in 2010, but I still felt like showing it off anyway because it's really cool. It's a really cool concept for a puzzle game, in my opinion. So, I can line it up like this, so I can make it move through like that. And you can also make it loop back through tiles, and once you do that, you'll get multiple points, just like that. So, as you can see, it goes through here, and then it loops back around and goes back through the tile, then it comes out like there, and you get multiple points for doing that. You get even more points. My record so far is 90. That's the score I got off screen before I recorded this. And then I can make it go through this tile, I believe, actually. Yeah, like this right here. Yeah, so I get even more segments. And I think I might want to turn it right here. Um... I could turn it like that in order to get even more points. Actually, where would that go? Yeah, that would actually... Okay, no, I think I'm okay to do that, because, yeah, it'll just go up there. And then... Oh, jeez. Actually, actually, I can make it loop back around again and get even more segments. There we go. And I can loop it back around again to make it go over here. There we go. So, yeah, you're basically creating a path through all of these tiles, and you're trying to clear the entire board, basically. Or just trying to get the highest score. I mean, you don't need to beat it if you, uh, don't want to. Well, then again, the same thing can be said for video games in general, but you know what I mean. You don't- you're just trying to get the highest score possible. And there are also other boards as well, but I don't think they're free. Most of the other boards in this game are part of an expansion for the game, but I don't think the expansion is free. I believe the expansion costs, like, $2 or something like that. There's also a mobile version of this game, but I'm not going to play the mobile version, obviously, because I think I mentioned before that I don't even have a phone, so... Yeah, we're just playing this here. It's just a really fun little puzzle game, and I'm surprised that I didn't make a video of this before, because I've known what this game was for a really long time, but I'm surprised I never made a video of this, because this is really cool. And actually, to tell you guys the truth, I didn't even play this game until today. Like, I played this game for the first time today, like right before I recorded this video. So, yeah, even though I've known what this game was for a really long time, I only decided to actually play the game today. Yeah, I don't- I don't know what it is, because there's- there's actually a lot of games that I've known about for quite a few years now that I haven't even played. I just know about them. I don't know if just because they're games that didn't really interest me all that much, or if I just have that short of an attention span, but... I don't really know. I'm just making- oh my god, I'm just getting all the points right now, guys. In fact, I think I broke my- okay, I didn't break my previous record, but I am about to break it. Um... Where is this thing going? Okay, it's going over this way. Oh my goodness. I'm making so many, so many segments right now, and actually, okay, hang on a second, I think I can save myself. Because actually, no, that's gonna go all the way over back to the center. Okay, I think I'm pretty much screwed, actually. But I still did pretty well. Holy jeez, I got a personal best of 129. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I mean, I didn't clear all of the tiles, but still, 55 segments, that is pretty good. That is pretty darn good. So you do have other game modes right here, but it says check it out. Because I don't believe these game modes right here are free. You also have Sakura Grove, Hannah Blossom, or Hana Blossom, and Lotus Petal, and Clover, and Lovely. Okay, actually, there's a lot more uh, levels right here. Raceway. 
Okay, I don't know what that's all about. Yeah, so you have a bunch of other uh, <laughs> maps right here, but I don't think they're free because you can click check it out. But yeah, they're part of an expansion, and like I said, the expansion is not free. So, I think we'll just go back to the regular solitaire game mode, just go back to classic. Okay, what is swap right here? I can't actually- oh, okay. I can swap out the tiles for, for other ones. Okay, I didn't know I could do that. Um, well, it doesn't look like this tile is that much different from the other one. Okay, where, where do I want to put this right here? Do I want to make it go straight, or do I want to make it go the other way? Like, maybe over that way, perhaps? Yeah, maybe over this way. Put a segment right here. See if there's a way I could make it loop back around. And actually, I don't think there is. Okay, well, actually, I can make it loop back around like this right here. Yeah, there we go. There you go. You're doing the loopings. You're doing the loopings, and then I think I'll put it over this way. Then maybe I can loop it back around again. Yes, I definitely can. There you go. That's how you do it. Okay. Don't make that run into the wall. Uh, okay, that's not going the other way. Okay, that's just gonna go into the wall. Uh, yeah, any other way I put it, it's just gonna go right into the wall, I think. So I'm just gonna keep going down over this way. I can make a loop back around through that. There we go. Make a nice little loop. And then, can I loop this back around again? Yes, but where is it going? Is it gonna go into a wall? Actually, no, I don't think it's going to. That's gonna go into a wall, though, so I think I'm gonna... Maybe... Put this, yeah, maybe put this over here, and let's see if I can loop this back around, perhaps. Yes, I definitely can. Uh, that's gonna run into a wall, that's not going to, so maybe I'll put this over here. I can make it loop back around again. Uh, oh geez, that's gonna go all the way over to, to that tile up in the corner. Yeah, that one right up there. And, uh-oh. No, hang on a second, I think I can escape from this predicament. There we go, there we go, and loop it back around again. There, nice. Making all the loopings right here, and then I could go back around again because if I if I click on it right here Then it'll go all the way to that tile and when I say that tile I mean this tile right here, but the only thing is that I'm not gonna be able to escape from that So maybe I'll just keep going like this for now uh, That's just gonna run into a wall. I can loop it back through like this though there we go. So yeah, this game this game kind of requires some thinking. Definitely requires you to think about just what exactly it is you're doing. I can make it loop it back around again like this. All right, there we go. Maybe I can beat my record here. I just gotta I gotta think about this. Really need to think about this right here. Um, maybe make it go through like this. I'm running out of I'm running out of moves to make here, though. That's the only problem. I'm running out of moves to make. I can make it loop back around like this, and then can make it loop back around to the center, but... Okay. Uh, this is not good. That is not good at all. Oh, wait, I can create, like, a massive loop right here and go back over this way. There we go. And, yeah, I can once again escape from it. And this over here, where is that gonna go? That's just gonna go back to the center. Um, any way I can escape from this? Definitely I can. Yes, there we go. That's a way I can escape from it, and I can once again escape from it by going all the way over here, but now I am pretty much screwed now, so it's either go back to the center or create a massive loop right here, I think. Yeah, there we go. I got almost all the tiles, but once again, I did even better. 174. Longest current path is 72, or longest path is 72. So... Yeah, I'm definitely getting the hang of this right now. I almost cleared the entire board. Alright, so I think I'm gonna play one more game here, guys, because that's really all I have to say about the game. I mean, the game's not really that complex. Well, I mean, it, it kind of is, because you, you really need to think about what you're doing. Okay, yeah, I do like the soundtrack, but please get that off my screen. So yeah, you really need to think about what you're doing, but I mean, there's not that much to say about it. So... Let's see where I can I can put this right here. Okay. Let's see if I can try and somehow make it loop back around. Okay, it doesn't look like there is a way. I think I'll just keep going like this. Actually, I can make it loop back around like that, though. There we go. There we go. That's just gonna go back to the center, so maybe not do that. Um, okay, the, I can place it over here. Make it loop through this tile. There we go. Um, I want to make it turn left. Okay, the only way I can do that is by doing this. I don't want it to go into a wall. Okay, any other way it, it will go into a wall. So go through like this. Loop it back around like that. 
Uh, I don't know. Okay, that's gonna go all the way down over here, actually. Yeah, there we go. Oh, I got like 10 segments in a row. That's a massive score right there. Yeah, so you get like, you get like bonus points, you get multipliers. There we go. Um, I don't think there's any way I can loop it back around, so maybe do like this. And I can loop it back around like that, though. That's just gonna go back into the wall. Uh, I can put it through those two tiles right there. And click on this. And... I can loop it back around again. I feel like just making it go forward again for now. Loop it back around like that. There we go. Um, okay, I'm getting myself into a predicament once again. I can loop it back around again, like that, but can I make it go back through one of the other tiles? Yeah, I can. Well, actually, no, not like that, because I w wasn't paying attention to the red line right there. Um, oh boy. Uh, okay, no, I can still ma I can still get out of this. I can still get out of this. Uh, yeah, that line's gonna go all the way back over here. That's just gonna- yeah, that's gonna run into this tile right over there, and that's just gonna run back into the wall. Uh, where is this going? I need to follow this line over here. Uh, no, that line's just going into the wall. What if I swap it out for something else? Maybe I can get out of here. Maybe I can get out of here. Um, yeah, I can, I can get out of here, actually. Yes, I definitely can. Get out like that, and through like that. And then, I guess, I could get rid of the other tiles right up here. Uh, that's just gonna run into the wall. Actually, I think all of them are just gonna lead me into the wall, so... Yeah, that all of them are just gonna lead me into the wall here, so swap out again. See if I can... Yeah, okay, I can do that, and then that. Alright. That's gonna lead into the wall again. That's gonna lead back into the center, and I don't wanna go there either. Lead into the wall. That's also gonna lead into a wall. Okay, maybe I can swap it again. Lead into a wall, lead into a wall. Lead to the center. Okay, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done here, guys. I can't- I don't have any other moves that I could possibly make without- without running into a wall here. Anyway, I'm gonna leave this video here, guys. So that is Entanglement. It is a really cool puzzle game. You're just creating lines and- and getting them tangled in one another. It's still a really cool puzzle game, and I do recommend you go check it out, even though it is kind of old now. Like I said, it came out back in 2010, but- like I said before, the age of the game doesn't matter, because it's still really fun, it doesn't even matter how old it is. I still like this game a lot, it's definitely very cool, and I guess if you want to check out the mobile version, you can do that as well, but if you want to check out the web version of the game, which is the game I'm playing, it's basically the free version, uh, the link to that is in the description, and yeah, go play it guys, because this is, it's really cool. It's a really cool indie puzzle game. I really like it. I'm surprised I did not play this sooner, even though I didn't know about this game for a really long time, but I don't know. I guess it didn't, I guess it just didn't really pique my interest when I first saw it. Maybe that's why I didn't play it until now. I don't really know, but I'll continue playing this game off screen and trying to build up some larger segments right here, get all the points for goodness sakes. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed this video, feel free to give it a like, and if you disliked it, feel free to give it a dislike. That is your opinion after all, and I will see you guys in the next video I make. Later!